and picking it back up from here for part B I have eight of these 200 amp for a total of 1600 amps hours in my battery storage all your power that is generated from the solar panels come into your battery array and it's your battery array like before I had the four panels and only had three batteries and I really didn't have all that much power I couldn't run my microwave I couldn't run efficiently my coffee pot drip coffee at a thousand watts is what the uh, most coffee pots make or run off of my pure siren wave this converts it to the 120 that I need to run whatever it is I have a uh, two 10 cubic foot freezers and both of those are running off of the power here I have a refrigerator that from time to time I do run off of it right now I'm trying to use a little more power to it's funny they charged more per kilowatt for the less the more you use the less you pay so right now I'm trying to use enough that I fall in a sweet spot to keep my light bill low but this is the way I run it from the inverters up here and then run it out into the house the 12 volt though I have most of my lights like these LED here and my ceiling fan are all 12 volts so a lot of times I've had the power go out before and I never even know that the power's out until I go like open the refrigerator door and there, there's no light in there or something and that's a problem I'm going to have whenever I start running it more is that I won't realize that the power is out These are a halogen light, and I've been replacing those. They pull a good bit more power. This is my tankless water heater. But anyway, I'm happy to answer any questions. If there's any way I can help, and there's still, I'll do one more part to sit down and and try to remember anything that I have left out and that I've overlooked and just do a little chat but we'll leave it there for now